you guys welcome back to our channel welcome if you're new this is Ashley she's my old cook I get her back in the kitchen you guys she's on a break for school for what another half hour yeah until 11 so she's gonna be my little helper my little sous chef here in the in the kitchen today we're going to make applesauce and I'm not gonna show you just one way to make applesauce how many are we gonna show them no we're gonna show you four ways to make applesauce like four four let me show you all the different ways we're gonna make applesauce. And how many ingredients are in applesauce? Do you know? How many ingredients? What do we put in it? One. One. Apples. <laughs> Apples and a smidge of water. Yeah. That's it. No sugars, no pectin, no nothing. That's Just that's water. Safe. No sugar. It's so yummy though. You you be my um my judge. Is our applesauce the best? Yeah, when you have store-bought applesauce, do you like that? Not really. She chooses my applesauce, huh? Okay, yeah. let's go show you all the different ways to make applesauce. Here's the supplies that we're gonna need today. Apples, of course. I get mine every year from the orchard out in Yakima. I have a guy who has an orchard out there. You can check out that video. I'll leave it link above. So our first method for applesauce is going to be simply in a pot on the stove. I'm not using a large pot, but you can use a bigger one if you want. I'm just making a small portion. The next way we're going to make applesauce is in the crock pot. Super easy. Put it in a crock pot and we're going to walk away from it for the day. The third way we're going to make applesauce is in the instant pot. Again, put it in the instant pot, set the timer, walk away. Crazy, right? And the fourth way is kind of an old fashioned way. It's how I grew up making applesauce is in the Victorio strainer. Now they call it the food strainer, but the brand is Victorio, which is what I have always called it, the Victorio strainer. And these are about 80 bucks on Amazon. I can tell you a funny story about how I purchased this one here in just a second. One other tool, and Ashley will show us when we actually get to this point, is using one of our feeler core slicers for our apple. So a funny story about the strainer. My dad is the one, my mom and my dad are the ones who have taught me how to make applesauce. And so when I started getting apples from my friend Vince from this orchard out in Yakima here, here in Washington, I started getting apples from him years and years and years ago. My dad fell in love with this concept of teaching me how to make the applesauce. I was initially doing them in the pot and then I eventually learned how to do the crock pot and I would borrow all my crock pots from all of my friends and I would have five crock pots lined up across my kitchen and I would have have them going all day long, sometimes for two or three days, in order to can, put them in the jars, enough applesauce to last us for a year. We're talking like three, four hundred pounds of apples, you guys. So when my dad started seeing that I was only doing it with these methods, he said he was gonna come out here to Washington and bring his Victorio strainer, the one I used as a child with him and my mom, and he was gonna show me how to do it with the strainer and help me go through it a lot faster. So him and my mom planned this trip and they packed up and they left Utah, they live in Northern Utah, in Logan, if you know anything about Utah, and they hit the road. About four hours into their drive, they called to check up on me and make sure they were ready for my for them to get here, and I made sure that they had the Victorio strainer with them. And four hours into their trip, my dad realized he didn't have his strainer. <laughs> He had left the one thing that we needed at home, right? You were too little. This was years ago. Oh, you didn't think it. He had left it at home, and he was ready to turn back and go back home and go and get it, which would have added eight hours to their trip. It only takes 12 hours to get here, so he was already almost gonna double his trip. I told him to wait five minutes and let me see what I could do. I hopped on Amazon, and I ordered the strainer, and I got back on the phone with my dad, and I said, Dad, if you'll cover half the cost of the Victorio strainer, which was $80, which was not in my budget at the time, I was not planning on buying it. I said, if you'll cover half the cost of this strainer and I will purchase it on Amazon and it will be here before you will. And this is back in the Amazon days of actual like same day shipping or prime shipping where it could come the next day. I live in Seattle, so we live in Amazon country. So it is very possible for us to get things same day back then. My dad did not believe me. He was like, we'll just have to go to Fred Meyer or another grocery store and find a strainer when I get there. If it's not there, because we were on a very strict timeline for getting this applesauce done while he was here still allow some time for them to be tourists and hang out with us as a family. So they still had eight hours in their trip left. So when they got here, when they drove up, I met them on my front porch with the Victoria strainer. It had come an hour before they got here. Thank you, Amazon Prime. So that's my funny story with the, the Victoria strainer. I have only used it one other time. No, he's come out like two more times and done the Victoria strainer with me, but I haven't used it since because we have not gotten rid of the applesauce that we've made since. So we're gonna go through all of these different methods, all of these different methods, and how to make applesauce, because it is super easy in each one of them, and it just depends 
depends on how much applesauce you want to make. If you're doing, you know, one for dinner or for a dessert, do it in your so in your pan. If you don't want to worry about it, do it in your crock pot. If you want it quicker, but you don't want to have to sit and stir it on the stove, do it in your instant pot. And if you're doing a massive batch of applesauce for your family to stockpile for the year, or in my case, a couple years, the Victorio strainer is your way to go for mass producing applesauce. Okay, so for the first three methods, we need to peel, core, and slice our apples. So we're gonna do that with the little device I showed you earlier. And then this, the method is going to be the same for the apples in all three. In the pot, we're gonna put the core, peeled, and sliced apples inside the pot, and the crock pot, and the instant pot. Then we're gonna add maybe half a cup of water in each of them. It depends on how much apples we have in each pot. And then literally it's about turning it, all the devices on. Turning the stove on, turning the crock pot on, and turning the instant pot on. So first of all, let's go and core peel and slice our apples. The trick with the core peeler slicer is that it does suction to your table. So you take this little lever, hold on to it Ash for me, and you just go back and forth until you have a really good suction on it and it's stuck to your table. Okay. So that's kind of the trickiest part, right Ashley, is making sure that's stuck to the table. Cause I can't, I can't move. You can't do it, yeah, you can't get it off the table. Okay, so I put a strainer in my sink because I'm not gonna let the peel go down my disposal, but I've set this to go right over the ledge of the sink and down into the strainer. Just peel it so down. I don't even wash my apples because you're just gonna peel off all the part that you'd be washing anyway. Okay, so the first tr trick you're gonna do is you're gonna put the apple onto the little prongies. So then you're gonna twist it. Oh, wow. And it literally it peels it, cores it, it, makes it and slices it. Or just come loose on this one. Yeah. I'll show you. Oh. In about five seconds. It just took that. Check it looks it out. like a pineapple. It does look like a pineapple. Let's see if I can pop it out. Look. So it's cored, it's peeled, and it, oh, it's sliced. Cool. That's cool. Isn't that cool? So that's literally all it's going to take. Yeah. I might just right. slice this in half and put it in each of the pots. Yep. Sometimes the core stays on here. You just pop it off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is take these apples. You don't really have to do this. I'm just gonna kinda chunk them up a little bit more for the pot style. But like I said, you don't have to do that. Oops, that was a seed. You don't want seeds in there. All right, so here's what it looks like in the pot, and you can repeat this same method for the instant pot and the crock pot. Okay, my assistant is going to put in, we've got a cup of water, go ahead. But you just want to make sure that there's some water on the bottom of the pan so that it doesn't burn on the bottom so it has some moisture and then literally we're just going to let that sit we will kind of stir that every once in a while but while that works we're going to go and do the other two pots all right we're going to keep going with this pot it is doing pretty good the water is kind of getting to a boil now one of the tricks is the quicker you can get the apples to break down, the lighter in color your applesauce is gonna be. So sometimes I will take the apples, if I'm doing it in the pot or in the crock pot, and I will food process them in the raw form before I put it in the pot so that they're already broken down so that I can keep this yellow color. If not, it's gonna turn that brown applesauce -y color that we're kinda used to seeing, but it doesn't really make any difference in how the applesauce tastes. All right, it's only been a couple of minutes, but this is already starting to get softened and break down a bit. This one kind of needs the most hand holding just because you don't want it to burn, but look how yellow they are. So I think we're gonna get a nice yellow batch of sauce this time with this guy. Okay, I just wanna show you the progress. We added a little bit of water to this, but it's definitely breaking down and getting mushier as it cooks.
just as a reference, I'm keeping these all in order with each type, but my Instant Pot was done third, and it's already done. <laughs> the stove top in the pot was turned on first, and then I did my crock pot, and then I did my Instant Pot, and it's already done. Just so you can see how long it takes per, like, as a reference, per type of method. All right, I might call it on the stove top applesauce because I don't want to burn it and I keep having to add water. It's a little bit chunkier than I normally do it, but it is going to be pretty good. So I think we're done with this guy. If you wanted to get less chunky, like I said, you could put it into the food processor first and then put it in here or just chop it up really fine before you put it in the pot and then it breaks down a lot faster. I think I'm gonna pull this off the oven now. Next up for the crock pot, I have chosen the smaller size of my crock pot. Normally I use the largest size possible, but we're not very making very much today. So I've got my core peeled and sliced apples right here. Again, I'm just gonna cut them in half, maybe in quarters, and I'll stick them straight into the crock pot with a cup of water. All right, so I set this on high, put the lid on it, and I'm literally gonna walk away from that. I'll stir it every half hour to an hour. That's all you have to do for the crock pot. All right, these guys are gonna take the longest. This is gonna be the last one that I am working on today, so I'll show you that along the way throughout the day. It, this one takes, seriously, it'll take on high, it'll take a good couple hours to get processed, but if you don't have time to like babysit it, this is the way to go. All right, I'm gonna stir the crock pot here really hasn't broken down I tell you you can probably leave this one and walk away from the house for a couple hours because it just takes a long time we're not going to look at it again for two hours and see what it looks like all right now it has been another hour and a half or so with this applesauce you can see a lot of the large chunks in there still sometimes they kind of mush up but i think i'm going to let it go for another hour See, I can kind of smush them down. I like it to not be chunky. You could be done with it at this point if you didn't want it chunky, but I think I'm gonna do it for another hour or so. Okay, this is it on the crock pot applesauce. You can see the color. Let's back out because the steam kind of gets <laughs> to the camera lens. But you can kind of see the color is a lot darker than the other kinds of applesauce. And again, that's because it has to be exposed to the air for longer and the apples brown but it still tastes just as good so it's just a matter of color difference all right so I had poured some into a bowl to take all the photos and <laughs> do all the ending stuff and then my daughter ate the ones that was in a bowl so I wanted to show you comparatively the two so this is probably from the instant pot right here and then this is the crock pot so you can kind of see the two different colors are quite different it does make a difference on how quickly you get the applesauce cooked. Okay, for the Instant Pot, do the same process with the apples. We're gonna put the apples in there, and then we're gonna put water in there. And then you're gonna add about a cup of water, just for moisture, and that's it. Again, we're not making very much. That's about two and a half, three apples in there. Yeah, but then we much. hit the timer for eight minutes. It's already going. Yeah. So then we're gonna put the lid on, and that's a mama job. So let my mom do that part. I just want to make sure the lid is on tight. And then make sure that is on sealed. Right? Is that what that says right there? Yeah. Okay, that's going to take a minute to come to pressure. But let's time this to see how much time it actually takes. Alright, it's 11.24. And let's see if it's how much time plus the 8 minutes that it takes. Yeah. All right, it is 11.40. Timer just went off on the Instant Pot, so that took 16 minutes, start to finish. So about double the time, the eight minutes. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and release that pressure away from my cabinet. Okay, pressure has been released. You guys. Look at that applesauce. So it looks like we left a little bit of the core 
a little bit of the peel on right there. No big deal. But look at this. Look how yummy. I think that looks really good. All right, so there's a little bit of extra liquid in here because I added too much water. I added as much water as you would need for a whole pot of apples. But you can see I've turned it on to saute and I'm just kind of burning off the last of that liquid and it is already like working. So that's gonna do the trick for my applesauce. If you had done it with a whole pot, you won't have any problems with yours. But literally 16 minutes and we have a whole batch of fresh applesauce and it's steaming up my whole camera. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna turn off the saute because that is done. All right, so our fourth method is the Victorio strainer. And the first thing that you do with that is take your apples and I'm just going to cut them into quarters. I'm only gonna do probably two or three apples just to show you. But So I'm only using a small pot and I'm gonna boil my water here, put the apples straight in it and I'm gonna boil those for about five to eight minutes until they're nice and soft. Apples have been boiling for about five, six minutes. I'm not actually sure because I forgot to set the timer. But you just want them soft, so I might just stab them. Yep, oh, they are very soft. They are very ready to come out. And just because I can't do this while holding the camera, we're gonna take them out of that pot and put them directly into this strainer. And then I'm gonna get a bowl to go underneath here because it's all kind of a quick process. So I'm gonna set the camera up so you can kind of see the entire process. Okay, I've got one bowl for the applesauce and one bowl for all the rind. Now we're gonna pull this guy off. Tongs. This is not a one person job, by the way. I am doing it one person because everyone's in Zoom calls. <laughs> okay, so putting my apples right up into the strainer. You don't have to wash these. You don't have to pour them. You don't have to peel them. You literally just keep boiling them. That's it. And for me, I'm not doing any more, so. But any, if you were gonna keep going, just keep your big pot of water and just keep re reusing it. The easiest part is to push it through the strainer. And it's the messiest part, by the way. It's gonna leak down the side of my cabinets. All right, as you can see, the applesauce comes out this side, right here and down into this bucket. And I don't actually have enough rind <laughs> that has spit out that other side. So, you know, that's okay. It actually takes quite a bit of apples to kind of get a whole batch doing it this way, but look how golden that is because we took it straight from the boiling point to the bowl that it is like so yellow and I love it like this. This is probably one of my favorite ways of doing it because you get such a original color to the applesauce. So while that doesn't yield me very much, it will when you make multiple batches. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna do one more batch of these apples so I can show you the process again so you see the whole thing come out. I'm forgetting already how messy this process is. There's a pile of liquid there. There's a pile of goo right in there. Can you see all that? This is normal. It is tricky to find a bowl that will stay like completely up there. When my dad and I do it, we actually kind of prop up the bowl with like other towels and like try and get this whole area to go into the bowl because it's just messy right around this whole area here. It's just part of the process. We actually want to, to do it outside 
the couple times that we did it, but I don't have, at the time I didn't have a sturdy enough table. Now I have a 12 foot farmhouse table that I don't have any other use for, but at the time I didn't have one. So it was hard to do it outside, but I would recommend doing it outside if you have the ability to do so, because if you're cranking through these and making hundreds of pounds of apples into applesauce, your kitchen is going to be a disaster by the time you're done when it comes to like boiling all the water and then doing this whole process with the Victorio strainer. It's kind of a mess, but I want to show you where all the peels and the core come out because that's kind of the genius of this method is that you don't have to do the prep work. You literally just boil the apples and put them in. So that's why you get the yellow, yellow applesauce with this method. So the cores and the peel and the, all the other stuff comes out this side. That's what this bowl was here for. I didn't make enough to like have it crank through and be a continuous string, but here's all the core and the peel and it just completely separates all on its own through this little strainer. That's the name, the Victorio strainer. But look at this applesauce, like, Look how yellow, it's pretty runny. The more you make, the you know the thicker it kind of builds up, but it actually sets up quite nice. So I kind of like the yellowness of this applesauce. So I have taste testers here. They couldn't Judge wait. Judge number one. Judge, Judge one, number one, one and number two. Hey, this is, side. This is the Instant Pot. This is the first one that's done, right? Yeah. What do you think? Hmm. Pretty, oh, give me a break. You're being. No, it's trying to cool it off. Okay. You already know it's good, you little twit. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fourth bite. Yeah. What do you think, Ash? Dude, she's eating the whole bowl. Yeah, I'm the whole bowl is gone. I'm a, I'm all right, you guys, that is it. I've got all four methods of applesauce right here. This thing is a beast to clean, but it's all cleaned up. So we have the pot applesauce, the crock pot applesauce, the instant pot, and the Victorio food strainer applesauce. And that, my friends, is it. I hope you enjoyed this and stick around, subscribe, come back for more. You know, we just start cooking and decorating and doing a whole lot more during the holidays. I hope that you join us here on our channel and we'll see you next time.